These students came as early as 6 o'clock this morning for the planned demonstration, but had to call it off when the Office of the Registrar clarified the rules and requirements of the NSFAF. The fund requires students to pass all major subjects for it to continue funding the students. Consequently, some of the students who failed their majors could not register without paying $3,000 up front. Others had to first present confirmation letters from the NSFAF, but are worried that lectures might resume without them registering for the 2014 academic year. I think they should really just speed up the process. A lot of people's lives depend on education, you see. So we should really just understand that um, students need to go to school. Now we're stuck here, a lot of us, how many of the students, college educated students, won't have be able to register because of the whole problem. And it's been two weeks now. Polytechnics SRC for information and publicity, on the other hand, says there has never been an instance whereby lectures yes. resume without all oh, students registering. Max Hibandwa says 70% of students' tuition fees are funded through government loans. No, obviously that, that cannot happen. Polytech cannot start classes tomorrow because the students are not registered and it's not their fault that they are not registered. So um, it only makes sense right now that classes will mostly start Thursday, Friday or possibly even Monday because majority of the students are loan holders and majority of the students, close to 70% of the students, are not registered. So you can't say classes are starting tomorrow, who are you going to teach? Regarding the planned demonstration, Hibandwa said the office of the SRC president was in consultation with the office of the registrar to find ways to have all students registered. Just last week, the Education Minister, Dr. David Namwandi, lashed out at the poor service delivery at the NSFAF, stating that students should be helped and documents be processed on time in order to avoid delays. Blanche Corese, CNBC News, Ventuk.